Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for The Invitation. Now, I kind of like this flick. Um, I don't think it set the, uh, the vampire genre on its head or changed it in any way. I think it was actually de very deeply rooted in the mythology that we've gotten before. Just trying to tell something a little bit different with the whole DNA processes, who, who you could be linked to. You never know. You never know. Uh, so, ultimately, uh, I think what this movie lacked was the actual... Uh, there's They get this great tension going, 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 and then it's just there, boom, movies are done. And then with a post-credit post scene, I think setting up a sequel, that's probably not going to happen for multiple reasons. Uh, just due to the fact that I, I didn't care about any of these characters, quite honestly. I love vampire flicks, and uh, the dude who's playing Walter, who's basically Dracula, uh, Thomas Doherty, uh, the dude was really cool. I liked it. Uh, they did enter in the aspect that, yes, vampires can walk in the day, which is kind of interesting, but I also kind of don't like that. I kind of like the aspect of they are night stalkers. They're night beings. They're not, they're not like hanging out with you on a regular basis. It's kind of what I, that's kind of what I like in that genre, but some people would probably disagree with me and like the aspect that, hey, yeah, we can walk in the sunlight and we don't get burned and shit like that. Uh, so we have, uh, uh, Natalie Emmanuel playing Evie. She is basically the final piece that they needed. They need to turn her into a vampire for all of them to be able to be mortals. Because it's part of the the family lineage. You have to have these three families within that. It, it's 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 kind of complicated. Which was another aspect of it that I was just like, oh man, come on. That's just overly complicated. Uh, but a Evie gets brought into this by, she does, uh, she's like a waiter. So she gets this swag bag and it has a DNA test in it. She takes the DNA test to find out who she is. Uh, the DNA comes back that she's uh, part of this English bloodline, which sets up that something in the beginning of the movie that I don't want to completely go into uh, turns out to be one of her ancestors and all this stuff. It, it, the movie overall is a good flick. It's a good action film. It's a good story. There's just some things in the genre that I liked that I disliked. And I think ultimately... Uh, I just didn't dig. I just didn't. But Sean Pardui, uh, he played Alfred in Gotham. Uh, he's such a great actor. I, I really do. I really do dig him as an actor. I think. I actually think he overshadowed the acting part of all of it. He plays the dickhead butler. Uh, but all the character, all the all the natural uh, vampire. Like names and stuff like that that you, you've seen in other genre. Lucy, Victoria, Oliver, uh, Renfield. Like, they're all there. So it, it's kind of good. It's kind of good. But it's ultimately just kind of down the middle. Which is a little bit because of the horror aspect of it. I, I, let, I'd like, love to hear what you guys thought ultimately to this. Uh, not so much on my side of it, but, uh, where does this lie on our five star, uh, review? This is a three star movie. There's nothing like super great about it, but it just gets that extra little pop up to, uh, push it over the top. Let me know down below what you guys think of this. Um, I would love to hear it. I'd love to hear it. And we will see you in our next video.